Yeah, my name is Dror Yahav. I'm the CEO of Universal Avionics. Perfect. Um, it would be great if you could walk us, uh, talk us through uh, the solutions and products you're offering here today. All right. So we are proposing a, a system uh, which call called Enhanced Flight Vision System. It's a composition of a sensor device, small one, a bigger one, which enhances your naked vision. So it allows you to see, you know, if you fly night operation, it, you can get a pretty, pretty good, good image of uh, as if it's a daytime, of low visibility condition, like haze and rain. Enhance your vision and make it uh, as clear as a daytime. So that's one part of it. The second part of it is that we are able to take this image, this live video, and present it in a conformal way to the pilot on the pilot's eyes. So we have two kinds of versions of system. One of them is helmet-based for those helicopter pilots who are flying with helmets. And we have a non-helmet version, which is designed for fixed wing operator or pilots or helicopter pilots who do not use helmets. Both do the same thing, basically. On top of it, we have application like 3D mapping, and we compose all of them into one image and present it to the pilot. Now, that's the basic of it. Uh, which we launched uh, lately and it's been successfully selected by several customers all over the world. Now we took you to the next version. Uh, we believe it's going to be highly official to uh, helicopter operators, mostly police forces, uh, which do mission-based operation. And the one is that now we want to utilize the fact that we know where the pilot is heading. We allow them to look outside, create points and do what we call fly by sight. It means that now you can look to the outside, enhance the vision, find the thing you want to find, and redirect your helicopter or your airplane automatically just by looking and pressing a button and going the direction and perform your mission. Perfect. How do you see the product developing over the next five years? So we see, the first thing is we're going to see it more and more adapt into the market. We see more application which are going to be used fly by sight. One of them is to do IFI operation. IFI operation by selecting FMS function, which today has been need to be done by looking inside the cockpit through the keyboard. Now it can be done using augmented reality, selecting menus and just talking to the system by looking where you want to do and how you want to do that. It's going to reduce significantly the workload. Now we see more and more application like that, which connects what's going on, what's going out outside to what you're going to see and how your system is going to handle it.